Here is the in-depth Radix One Slim Wallet review. This is the only video online where you'll see someone measure the thickness of the Radix One. I'll discuss how well the Radix One fits in your front pocket. I'll also give you one tip that'll make it a hundred times easier to use. And make sure you stick around to the end so you can find out if the Radix One is Slim Wallet Dude approved. The first thing we're going to look at is the front pocket ability of the Radix One. And by that I mean how well does the wallet actually fit in your front pocket. And just by looking at the Radix One you can probably tell. This rectangular shape does extremely well for fitting in your front pocket. It gives it a very low friction release as it slides in. And when it comes to thickness, the Radix One is really in a class of its own. To fit comfortably in your front pocket, a wallet should be below half an inch thick. And the Radix One is coming in at a impressive 0.4 inches. You can compare that to a standard bifold wallet, which is close to a half inch more thick. And I know a half inch may not sound like much, but when it comes to fitting something in your front pocket, a half inch makes a huge difference. By the way, I always measure the wallets with seven cards inside. That's because it gives a more accurate representation of how the wallet will behave in the real world compared to being totally empty. When it comes to usability, the Radix One also does well. You can place your two most frequently used cards on the top and bottom of the stack, and in under two seconds, you can take the wallet out of your pocket and have your card ready to hand to the cashier. Now at first glance, it may look near impossible to get any of the middle cards out. It looks like you would have to slide the entire stack of cards out and flip through it like a deck of playing cards. And I thought the same thing too until I learned about the push and pinch technique. To do the push and pinch technique, all you have to do is slide the cards out about halfway and then pinch the plates together and something amazing happens. The cards fan out like a Rolodex and you're able to flip through them and select the exact card that you need. This is one of my favorite design features of the Radix One and it really turns this into a great slim wallet. As far as cash is concerned, the Radix One does about as well as your average minimalist wallet. It works perfectly fine for one to two bills. Any more than that and it starts to get a little annoying. It can be difficult at times to get the cash to slide underneath the silicon band, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. If you're looking for a wallet that can hold lots of cash and cards, you probably want to check out a slim bifold wallet. I've got reviews on those as well and I'll post a link down in the description. But with all things considered, it's time I give my final opinion. The Radix One is one of the thinnest wallets we'll ever see. It's under half an inch thick, and it's great for cards. The only downside is that it's not that good for cash. So is it Slim Wallet Dude approved? Well, I make all of my decisions based on a concept I call the Slim Wallet Triad. And all the Slim Wallet Triad says is that for every wallet design, there's at least one trade-off. For the Radix One, it fits great in your front pocket. It works great for cards. The only downside is that it's not great for cash, but since one downside is always expected, I'm happy to say that the Radix One is Slim Wallet Dude approved. If you want to learn more about the Slim Wallet Triad, you should get the Slim Wallet Buyer's Guide. It'll tell you everything you need to know to find the perfect Slim Wallet, and best of all, it's totally free. So go to slimwalletdude.com guide right now to get your free copy, and I'll see you in the next video.